No softball, Steve. <laughs> I've got a concern. And my concern is that given the decreasing uh, amount of subsidy from the state and the state's inability to meet its 55% uh, yep. voted mandate to fund education, in fact, yep. going the opposite way, yep. given the fact that the research that I read shows charter schools as being, yeah, I know you're smiling, as being <laughs> less than yep. proficient ways right. to spend money. In fact, the research I read said that most charter schools are either as good as or not as good as, but not particularly better than public schools. Yep. Given the lack of often in charter schools of a democratic, egalitarian mixture or opportunity for kids, they get handpicked in very many places. And they get removed from schools, sometimes just before the test. Tell me why the department is supporting charter schools in Maine yep. when that money could be better spent on all kids in Maine, not on a few kids. And I guess it may come down to another different kinds of charter schools. Yep. I don't want to stifle innovation. Right. I think charter schools within public school systems that offer something unique and different, and I would be the first to volunteer to be freed from the fetters of federal and state mandates. Right. But I remember you said that. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I can't believe that the, um, right. that the department is favoring putting money into charter schools for a few kids when we got all the kids that need that money. Well, I, I, I appreciate that. You and I have talked about this before. Um, uh, I, my view is slightly different, um, which is that charter schools are schools of choice. Nobody is required to go to a charter school. Nobody is forced to go to a charter school. Uh, you're not under any legal obligation to go to a charter school. <clears throat> charter schools, where they're allowed, and there's 1.6 million kids in 5,400 charter schools in 40 states, they are there because parents, families, kids have decided that that is where the best educational opportunities for them are. Uh, and so when we talk about draining resources, I, I, I bridle at that a little bit because I see it as the money going where the most effective education for the child is. Uh, on As far as the family sees it. Uh, you know, I mean, we have a system where if administrators decide that a student is better served in a different school, we have superintendents agreements, move kids around, we send kids to specialized schools, we send kids to magnet schools, we send, you know, we, we right now, that decision about where that child is best placed is, sits in the hands of administrators, doesn't sit in the hands of families. Families go where they are legally obligated to go. Uh, so, you know, I don't think it, I don't think the silver bullet. Uh, I don't think the charter schools are silver bullet. I don't think they're going to solve all our problems. I, I think that they are a chunk because I think they're going to let us do some innovative things and get some models that are a little different. And as I said before, I mean, we and I I, I don't know that I buy the anti-democratic thing either. Um, you know, at, at some point. At some point in our past, we made two decisions. We decided, one, we're going to provide a free and appropriate public education to every child. That's what we're going to do as a society. And the second thing we decided is the only way that we're going to do that is we're going to draw lines on a map, and all the kids who live within the lines are going to go to the school that's within those lines. And they're all going to be governed the same way. They're all going to be staffed the same way. They're all going to have the same hierarchical structures. They're all going to, I mean, we're going to have, we're going to provide this education to kids, but we're going to do it in only one way. And I don't, I don't see how we're going to cause all kinds of damage to the public, the existing public school system by having a handful, and it'll never be more than a handful. Uh, I mean, I told somebody, asked me, peg me down to put a number on it, and I said, if I, if we have five charter schools across the entire state in five years, I'd be stunned. Um, uh, to try some different ways of doing things. Uh, that said, I've also been clear to the superintendents from back when you guys first saw me down in, in South Portland, I also want conventional public schools to be innovative as well. And so we had a piece of legislation last week. We, we passed the innovative, the innovative schools law was passed last year. 
Uh, Senator Langley put forward a bill which passed the committee unanimously the other day that builds out that language. It creates a process whereby if a school wants to do some innovative things, that they can put together an innovation plan, the board signs off on it, and they come to Augusta and they say, Commissioner, uh, we, in order to do what we're trying to do, because we think it's the right thing for kids, we need you to give us some waivers for these specific policies because these are getting in our way. Now, to a certain extent, that power exists already. I mean, I, you, there's waiver authority there, but it's never used because I don't know that we talk much about it. But it's a process that will be put into statute that says, I don't care whether you're a conventional, traditional public school, if you're a public charter school, if you're interested in doing something different, managing yourselves differently, operating differently, changing pieces, you let me know what you need and we'll take care of it. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not putting all my eggs in the charter school basket. I think charter schools are a piece. I think it's something that's been tried in other states. I understand the policy, you know, there's research that says all kinds of things. There's research on both sides. Uh, what is telling to me is that any, right now, there's 700,000 kids across the country on waiting lists to get into charter schools. 700,000 kids who've decided that that charter school is the school, is the best, their best opportunity for an education. Um, and, you know, I, I, is it that the failure of the state school, the state school systems in those states? Should well, we work to be better than that? Well, I, we can, but at the, but ultimately, I, doing that means trying some new things and doing some things differently. And I think having a school doing that is is something that we ought to have. As simple as that. It's, it's just a new idea.